Wow. That is hard to top. That looks just so freaking tasty. Oh. Shenandoah, I long to see you and hear your rolling rivers. Oh, Shenandoah, I long to see you way we're bound away across the wide Missouri. I don't know, I don't know if the Missouri River runs through this Shenandoah Valley. I'm gonna need to double check that. One of the, I don't think they're talking about. There aren't two Shenandoah Valleys over there, I don't know. I haven't seen any rivers here, um, but I'll have to double check on my map. God dang, that is just so yummy. We'll do another pan over, because that just stops. Oh, my God. I met some uh, people who live on a commune. That was super interesting. They live a totally different life. It made me a little uncomfortable. I don't know why. Maybe it's because... Um, I don't know. Maybe they have some things figured out. Some things are a little eh, but some things were like... I guess I don't like the idea of communes because they just it seems like they retreat from the world to make their own world when I feel like we should be out here trying to improve the world even if it's fucked up even if it's filled with capitalist pig dogs and people who own private vehicles but I think that's my main objection. I don't know. They were very interesting. Brooke, Audrey, and T. Roy. They can change their names in the commune, whatever they want. There are some people named Fenrir and Loki. <laughs> Norse mythology fans there. Um, they have labor hours and uh, they have a fleet of commune vehicles and no one owns their own vehicle and you can rent one of the commune vehicles to it's like zip car you share and they live in uh, hippie dormitories that's what they call them um, 18 people in each and there's about 91 to 100 people on their commune and there are about like four communes in their little radius very interesting. I'll have to think about this some more. Anyway, September 26th, I'm gonna go find camp now. I'll see you.